Hi, this is Brandon with Cairo Up. I want to talk about a recent paper that I just read and why I think it's so important for all of us to understand. The paper is on mulligan mobilization. I learned this back when I was in school. This, this treatment process has been around for decades. However, something that I don't often do with my patients, and now I'm wondering why. Because I'm always looking for easy, simple ways for patients to treat themselves. When you look at neck pain, and you look at headaches, and you look at dizziness, there's a lot of stuff that patients can do by themselves to help you look better. It is always good to provide treatment when it comes to manipulation and mobilization and treatment techniques we do in your practice and also modalities you do in your practice to get somebody out of pain. But you know as well as I do when you're working with joint dysfunctions that often after you loosen things up, they start to stiffen back up and we need to prevent that. Often I'll tell my patients, listen, I'm going to be WD-40. I'm going to get those joints moving better, but I need you to keep it moving better. And mulligan mobilizations are just that. The best part about mulligan mobilizations is they're easy to do at home. They're safe, they're effective, and they don't require using a lot of expensive rehab equipment. So in this paper, it talks about headaches and it talks about vertigo. Now, what we know from cervical joint headaches and vertigo, they're often related to neck pain and cervical joint dysfunction, most notably the first three vertebrae. These joints often are very stiff and tight. Uh, there's spastic muscles around there. That's what we can do in our office to help alleviate those symptoms. However, mulligan mobilizations can keep that range of motion going. Now, don't forget pain, headaches, dizziness, those are symptoms. Those are not the problem. Joint dysfunction often leads to those symptoms, but often joint dysfunction is not the problem. So don't forget to dive deeper. We can all motion palpate. We can all use our static palpation, motion palpation imaging. However it is that you diagnose a joint dysfunction, use those methods, but don't forget about the hobbies, the habits, the sports, the traumas, anything else that could be causing that uh, pathological process to start. A lot of times in our population, it's the way they sit. Uh, they're looking at a computer for eight hours a day. It could be the way they just hold their posture uh, during uh, when they're working on the assembly line or the way they throw a baseball. Uh, you have to look at everything possible and why they're getting uh, that joint dysfunction in the upper cervical spine before you can ever get the pain to go away and stay away. So that's something to keep in mind. However, when you look at mulligan mobilization, they're simple and they should be simple because these are the things that patients have to do at home. I have a very, very expensive piece of rehab equipment. It's called a dish towel. Uh, I fold it like this. I know there are straps. If you have the straps, they're wonderful. However, most patients don't and they don't like buying a whole lot of stuff from my practice and I don't like selling it from my practice. The two mobilizations they use are for rotation and also for headache are going into extension. So the first thing I do once I uh, fold it in, in like this is the extension uh, for the headache uh, is going to be like this. You hold it right at the top part of the cervical spine and you're doing a retraction into the strap and relax. A Traction in the strap and relax. What you're doing is you're forcing some uh, excess flexion out of the upper cervical spine to help get that joint moving. That joint, especially C12, is also really good at rotation. So the way that you're going to help with rotation is you're gonna go into the painful range. Let's say it's turning to the left in my case. With my left arm, I'm gonna hold the strap here. I'm gonna take my towel right across the top part of my upper cervical spine and I'm going to rotate as far as I can actively and then once I get to that active range of motion, the end of it, I'm going to throw a little bit of passive overpressure in. So I get to here and a little further and back, get further and back and I can do a set of 10 repetitions in rotation and a set of 10 repetitions in retraction to help with these symptoms. It should look a lot like McKenzie directional therapy. They're based on the same principles on joint derangements. So something else you can include with your patient. I've included both of these exercises in Cairo for you to use. If it's something that you think could help a patient, use it. If not, then don't. However, I think that sometimes patients like doing certain exercises, not other exercises. Don't pick your favorite exercises. 
pick the exercise you think a patient can do easily and will give them the most symptomatic relief, uh, which of course makes us all look better. Uh, check this out in Cairo Up. Uh, we've already included in there as far as the cervical menu. You can, get, you can take a look at the actual videos and then try uh, to use those in an exercise plan. Or actually, you can incorporate those into your own condition reports for cervicogenic headaches and vertigo. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>